Hello, this is Wampire here to talk about philosophy. So uh, I guess the first thing is, um, why is philosophy important for a martial artist? And I do feel that it's important. So many times um, when you think of martial arts, people are just interested in self-defense. They want the techniques, they want the ideas for self-defense, but uh, they're not really interested in philosophy. Um, I think philosophy is very, very important for a martial artist because uh, the bottom line is, in order to get good at martial arts, you have to do it all day long. In other words, you can't just go to the gym or the dojo and train there for an, an hour and a half, two hours, and that's it. And then you come back to your regular life. No, there is never an off switch. You come back to your normal life and you're still doing martial arts. It should be 24-7 non-stop martial arts. So, in other words, it becomes a lifestyle. Anything, anything you do in life, if you want to do it seriously, you want to become excellent at it, it has to become a lifestyle. So, in order for that to happen, to help make that transition where you're doing it 24-7, philosophy helps very much because philosophy is a guide for life. It gives you some very important questions to think about and see the bigger picture of things. It sometimes helps you make sense out of what's going on in your life and maybe what to expect in the future. So, you know, um, it just helps you tackle the things that you're going to deal with in your everyday life. Sometimes gives you a code of honor to follow. So it's, it's a guideline. It, it really helps a martial artist go from just training in the gym or the dojo and then to go full time. So martial arts philosophy helps you with that. So it's very, very important. Now, the question that I want to ask for today is what is the single most important thing for a martial artist to have? The most important attribute okay is it an open mind is it meticulous attention to detail is it discipline is it the ability to nurture nurture your skills you know the ability to be a detective look at something and break it down or an engineer in some cases where you could look at a technique and see you know what are you doing to the other person's body what do you need to do with your body so that's kind of like structural engineering so there's a lot of things a lot of attributes that could be very very useful but what I'm looking for today is the single most important thing above everything else for a martial artist what is the number one and to answer that question I think it really helps to define, to know what is martial arts, right? At the end of the day, what are we trying to do with martial arts? And what I'd like for you guys to think about is think of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years ago, there's a village, and this village is about to get attacked by the enemy. Some raiders are going to attack it. So the people here they start thinking about strategy, they start making weapons, they start preparing, they start training. That's martial arts, okay? Why are they doing it? And the reason why they're doing it is if they get attacked right now without doing that stuff, they might get, they might lose, they might get defeated. So they have to become clever, they have to become prepared, you know, so they're, in essence, trying to make themselves better so that they could do better once the war begins, so that they have less casualties, so that they can survive. So that's what they're trying to do here. They're trying to do better. It's that simple. They're trying to make themselves better. All right. So today, whether it's for sport or self-defense, or for health 
and fitness, I think it still doesn't change. At the end of the day, we're just trying to make ourselves better, right? So if that's what you're trying to do, what is the single most important attribute to have? And in my opinion, now the answer is very easy. If you look at it that way, then I believe it's reflection. Reflection is without a doubt the most important thing in my opinion. Because if you don't have reflection, no matter all the other attributes that you have, you're still going to have holes and you may not be able to go forwards. In fact, you may fail. But if you have reflection and you don't have the other attributes, it can lead to getting the other attributes. So reflection is the most important. What is reflection? So you look in a mirror and you see yourself, right? So you need to be able to see what the heck is going on. So if I look in the mirror and I see Dracula or if I see... I don't know, a prince or whatever, then my reflection is messed up. I'm not seeing reality. So, or some people, they, they don't reflect at all. They just do whatever they want, which means they're unaccountable. They, they can do anything they want and they'll never get punished. There's no consequences. So they never learn from any of their mistakes. They don't know exactly what they're doing because they never see it. They just, I just did it because I wanted to. That's it. You know, so that is a total fail for a martial artist. You have to see realistically what is going on. And then from there, now you'll be able to see what you're doing good, what you're doing bad, and everything in between. Now you have room to fix. Now you have the capability. Now because you see what's going on, now we can fix it. If you can't see it, you can't fix it, right? Or not accurately. So reflection is the most important thing. Because once you see it, once you see what's going on, and you understand what's going on, now you can work on your weaknesses, your strengths, and as you work on it, you only get better at improving those. You only get better and better. And hopefully the discipline will start really coming in to where, you know, maybe in the beginning you could only do this for 30 minutes at a time or maybe less, 10 minutes at a time, where you're really putting in a good amount. But, you know, after a couple of years, you start getting better and better. So now you could concentrate and really put in good efforts for hours at a time or whatever. So uh, reflection to me is the single most impor important component. There are people there that are extremely talented, very, very good. But if they don't have reflection, then they always need to rely on other people to tell them like, oh, you know, dude, you know, you might want to work on this. Like your, you know, your high kick is, it's a little slow or... Uh, you telegraph too much with your punch or um, man you, you really don't know what you're doing on the ground so if you ever get taken to the ground you're in big trouble or you know wh whatever it is or you tend to lose your cool very easily you know you fight way too emotionally so then the other person could use that against you or you know if you don't have reflection then you don't see any of those things you know so yeah word for today is reflection um, I hope this helps. If you don't agree, well, don't worry about it. I'm not here to argue with you. So this video and all my videos are here to help you in some way, shape, or form. So if you can use it, awesome. If you can't, don't worry about it. There's tons of other videos, tons of other YouTubers. So anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for viewing and take care, folks.